everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Cake and Mix with the Rapid City Public Library. My name's Allie, and this week we're going to be making some cool rainbow art. We're going to be learning a little bit about color theory and how colors mix together when we make our craft today. So let's go ahead and get started and look at what we have in our craft kits. In your Take and Make kit, you should have a bag of tissue paper, instructions, and a rainbow template. Let's get started. Now this is a really easy craft, but it's really cool and shows you some really neat art techniques. So first we're going to open up our bag and we're going to take our tissue paper out. And now we're going to start laying our tissue paper one square at a time all over our rainbow. You can overlap some of the pieces. And some of the pieces are white, some are brown, that's okay. So I'm just gonna lay all of these out and I'll be right back to show you the rest. All right, once you have your entire rainbow colored with pieces of tissue paper, you're going to need either a spray bottle or you can get a cup of water and you can kind of flick and sprinkle water onto it. But really what we want to do is we want to spray the tissue paper, get it wet. Not too wet, we don't want it soaking, but you can already see some of the color coming off. Really cool. So we're gonna let that sit for about two or three minutes, wait for it to dry a little bit, and then I'll be right back and we'll peel all of the paper off. Okay, it's been about three minutes and I'm going to take a paper plate and I'm going to start peeling off the pieces of tissue paper. If you peel up and you notice that there's no color underneath, that's okay. You can just spray a little bit more water Press that down a little bit, wait another couple of minutes, and then you can peel it up and see what it looks like. So while that one's working, I'm going to peel up some of, the, some of these sides. Oh, it looks like I didn't get mine wet enough. So let's try that again. We'll get it really wet this time, and now we'll wait. All right, I've waited a few more minutes. Now I'm going to peel up my tissue paper. And look at those beautiful colors that it's left behind. You can kind of paint with your fingers to fill in the gaps. Oh, look at that pink. And you can even take the tissue papers and dab those a little bit and paint with that. I'm gonna finish peeling all of these off of here and I'll show you my results when I'm done. All right, I've peeled off my tissue paper and this is what I have left. I have some beautiful blues and greens, some pinks and purples in there and look how the colors all blend together. So you can see what color blue and pink make together. It makes a purple and same with green and yellow, which makes a blue. Now your last step, if you want to, is to cut out your rainbow and then you can hang it and display it anywhere you like. I'm going to wait for mine to dry before I cut it out, so I'll show you mine in just a minute. All right, I have cut my rainbow out, and as you can see, you, um, you might want to wash your hands after playing with the tissue paper because it does leave some colors. But I have my beautiful rainbow here now, and now you can wait for it to dry, and you can hang it up on your fridge, or you can hang it up in your room, on your window. You can also add cotton balls to the clouds if you want to make it extra special. But there we go, that is our rainbow art for this week, guys. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today as we made our rainbow art. I hope you had fun and learned a little bit about blending colors today. I know I sure did. Thanks so much for joining us and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and updates from the Rapid City Public Library. We'll see you next time, friends. Have a good day. Bye.